Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 2nd, 2022. Well, as the heat wave kind of builds up around um, the country here, we also have a little bit of heat building up between the U.S. and China this morning, creating some, well, some negative effects on markets around the world as um, China steps up its saber rattling um, against the United States due to the Pelosi visit of Taiwan. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can, or as you may have seen already, the Pelosi visit to Taiwan is creating significant tensions around the world. Asia markets, European markets, and now U.S. futures are pointing to a... Um, uh, more of a bearish day as a result as those tensions grow and China uh, we have China warplanes buzzing the strait um, between uh, them and Taiwan um, creating all kinds of issues and worries it's one of those things where we have elevated this now to such an extent it's just it's one mistake that could send things over the edge so watch this closely this morning now on the market front let's take a look at what we've got going on now, I've talked about this a lot, that one of the things that we needed to do was break this little downtrend here, hold a higher low, and then we're off to the races. And you can see that that has been the case. We've been off to the races here in this move to the upside. Now, a lot of it has been been fueled on, um, you know, tremendous speculation on earnings. And of course, the lowered expectations of these earnings um, has been um, phenomenal throughout this quarter. And yet, we're using it as a manipulation to move the market higher. Now, let's take a look at the longer term trend here in the chart. And one of the things we need to pay attention to is that we are right against this longer term trend in the chart and we are struggling with a significant level of price resistance. If we pull this back, you can see this level of price resistance in here is pretty substantial. So keep an eye on that. We're struggling against this um, little area, this resistance level of downtrend and, and uh, price resistance. And it'll be interesting to see, will the earnings reports today be, over, be able to overcome not only that price resistance and downtrend, but the tensions that are going between um, US and China. So watch that closely. One um, one thing we can certainly say for sure is that China is no longer our friend um, in this world. As a matter of fact, they're doing everything that they can to um, weaken the United States um, with with every move they make. And so we should be very, very careful and very watchful of some of the Chinese issue stocks out there because there could be some major changes coming in the near future as a result. Let's take a look at our technicals here in our chart. Now our technicals certainly improved. We're well above our 50 day moving average and we've got that 50 day moving average hooking over with our short term moving averages crossing through. So if we do get a pullback today, I don't think it's the end of the world. As a matter of fact, I think it would be healthy for the market to um, get a little rest or pullback here in the chart. So as long as this trend holds and we hold on to price supports, I think we're going to be in good shape. If we were to slip below those, that's where some trouble could come into play. Let's take a look at our SPY very much the same SPY pressing against um, downtrends, longer term downtrends and longer term resistance levels in the chart as you can see right here and then these downtrends 
pretty significant that we're going to have to try and break through um, in the chart. Let's see whether or not they can get that done or not and um, get through this resistance with these tensions going on here in the world. And again, I think we're in pretty darn good shape um, technically and price action wise if we can continue to hold uh, price supply price support levels in the chart. So if we can hold onto this um, trend, if we can hold onto this price support, I don't see any problem here in um, those indexes. And matter of fact, once again, I think it's healthy for a rest or consolidation where we'll run into trouble, where the bears um, will, or where the fear will start to come in is if we were to break that down. So far, no sign of that, but we will wanna be watching for that if the pullback um, this morning continues to grow. So watch that close. And if we take a look again, those technicals here in those uh, charts, certainly showing that bullishness with that rounded bottom breakout, 50 coming up, um, turning short term averages coming through providing that extra support in that chart if we do find that pullback to come into play now if we take a look at our qqq qqq also pulling back today we left a bit of a shooting star type pattern up here and again we're kind of signaling that we've got these resistance levels in the chart that we're struggling with and um, it is really showing up pretty prevalently here in the QQQ with that combined resistance there. So we'll want to watch that closely. And then, of course, these geopolitical tensions adding to that concern. Um, again, we've got this uptrend. We're in pretty good shape on that uptrend. And as long as we can hold some price support in this chart, if we were to pull back, Think we're going to be just fine if again if we drop down through there that's where the problem comes into play and then um, let's take a look at our russell iwm a very similar situation i've got those drawings on here as you can see running into those price resistance levels here in the chart and downtrend so can we overcome all of that with our earnings reports today um you know as we uh, deal with these you know tensions that are growing i don't know we'll have to wait and see it'll be an interesting test of the resiliency of the bulls here today now watch this um, um support area right in here again a failure in that area would be the complication that we would have to worry about let's take a look at our vix now our vix did a pretty good job um, of rallying yesterday with that little well i mean falling yesterday with that bullishness here in the market but notice here in the pre-market we're seeing a little bit of fear um, crop back up here we had dropped down here near those 20 handles haven't quite made it to that 20 handle um, in the chart but we're getting closer and closer and closer and if you take a look I've got a level right in here across that chart so if we test that level we're dropping that fear here out of the market but doggone it if we keep a close eye on what's happening here this morning that little bit of tension and fear we'll want to watch this area right through here that price resistance above that downtrend we don't want to see that VIX breaking back above and start start reversing that to the upside certainly is a possibility but we do have that resistance above to potentially prevent that from occurring then let's take a look at our t2122 those bulls they did a pretty darn good job they really provided a pretty substantial effort yesterday we pushed down early in the morning um, in our t2122 but they just fought right back those bulls just uh, just continuing to plow into the market here and as you can see we're still very elevated in our t2122 so remember we can linger up here and i've mentioned this before we can linger in these upper areas of the market but 
we also should be preparing for that possibility of a pullback. And I know everyone wants to sit, just see the market continue to go up, and I get that, but a healthy market has this ebb and flow to it. We go, don't go straight up. We get a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback to occur. So if that does happen, it's not the end of the world as long as we hold on to support levels and trends. We will wanna watch closely if we break those levels, but just kind of keep in mind a pullback in the market would be healthy. Um, I'm not suggesting that we have to drop all the way down into here, but we can see that is kind of, you know, a normal course of action. Sometimes we'll stop right in here and then bounce right back up. So let's watch closely for those potentials here in the market. We should expect some kind of rest or pullback here in that market. Now our T2107 had a good day yesterday, stretching a little bit higher, but unfortunately we still have this challenge here where we're right at that downtrend here at the chart and we have this price resistance right in here that we want to be thinking about. Now remember, as much as we want the market to go up, we do have to keep our eyes wide open and, and the, the potential here, how many times have we failed along this area and been fooled by it, trying to buy it up right at those resistance levels. So keep in mind, if we were to pull back here, shouldn't be all that big a surprise if we do get a rest. What would be the surprise if we this time would break through and actually hold that level of support? That is the surprise because the trend continues down here in T2107. Now in T2108, we have pushed our 50, those stocks above our 40 day moving average to a new level and take a look right here. We have broken this downtrend here on that move yesterday, 71% of the stocks up here above their 40 day moving average. Now, the problem with that is we may be a maybe just pushed them a little bit too far too fast. And as you can see, we have a significant level of price resistance in there. And what's key is breaking through and now holding the higher low. Can we hold the higher low? If we were to reverse and come back down below that downtrend, that doesn't help us out a lot. So remember, holding support is the key element here. We'll wanna watch that T2108. Now our T2101, Interestingly enough, we're, yesterday we had a little bit of an, uh, an anemic move as well. That volume pulled back here a little bit. So again, I don't think we're getting the best of information here in our T2101. If we take a look um, at our Dow chart, you can see that in the Dow chart, our volume was a little bit lacking, our QQQ lacking. So we're still struggling with that little bit of momentum in here, which by this point in time, I would think if the institutions are really committed to this move, they would be showing a bit more of a support as there was an article on CNBC yesterday about how retail is seems to be completely convinced we're going up, but institutions aren't really following suit. So you'll wanna be careful with that in here. Remember, if the market, if the overall institutions believe the market is going to go lower, this rally provides them an opportunity to sell to the retail crowd um, that would punish them if they do turn this lower. So watch that closely. Remember to take some profits. Don't get greedy in these moves. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar is pretty light. Um, not a whole lot here to get overly worried about. We've got uh, motor vehicle sales numbers coming out this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We got a little Fed speak in there. Um, you know, how can we get through the day without Federal Reserve members yakking it up? And then we have um, the job openings report today. Now, this is going to be an important number. Right now, the consensus is suggesting that that has declined. But remember, we've we've had that consensus before that that number is declining and it remains strong. We need to see that decline because remember what the Fed is working on is slowing the economy. And if we continue to see this number holding up very, very strong, that just can, gives the Fed more uh, leeway to continue raising rates. 
um, in the market. So watch that closely. And we saw with the PCE inflator on Friday that their favorite measure of inflation continued to rise on Friday. So we're going to have to watch that closely because that does give the Fed um, uh, that possibility conti to continue that pressure here on the market. Then um, as you plan forward into Wednesday, we have a pretty light day. We have factory orders, ISM services, and petroleum status in there with some bond announcements. So nothing major um, on Wednesday, a little bit of a break here. And um, remember, our earnings every day is ramping up toward Thursday, and Thursday will be our probably bigger day um, in the market with that employment situation that we're coming in on Friday. Let's take a look at that earnings calendar. Now our earnings ramped up here today we've got about 160 a little over 160 companies listed on the calendar and um, a good number of those are confirmed reports now we certainly have that potential for a lot of market movers today so let's take a look at a few of these and remember guys i can't cover them all if you want to catch that full list of notables this morning uh, make sure and click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list so we're going to have stocks like amd now we've seen an awful lot of reporting on amd saying amd should be way higher and it's going to go up 40 percent and all kinds of things but since those reports came out we went lower so we want to watch this chart pretty closely we're pressing against a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart so on this earnings report watch that carefully that could be very meaningful because if we can break through that big level of resistance and break through that downtrend right here then we may have amd moving to the upside if we were to fail here of course that creates that problem. Now let's take a look. We also have a big market mover like Caterpillar reporting this morning and it looks like, well, it looks like they have disappointed here um, um, bouncing um, negatively off of a big level of price resistance. It's been rallying toward earnings and we've been seeing that a lot where retail traders are piling into these trades ahead of earnings with huge anticipation looks like there's going to be some folks with a little bit of a bruised ego here this morning take a look we've got some um um, casinos out there, CZR, will be reporting today. We'll keep an eye on that. We've also, I think we have Win Casinos. I've got a little bit of a problem here between what one website says and what TC2000 is saying, but let's keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from uh, Gilead. Gilead will be reporting. Keep a close eye on that. We've got um, some oil in there. OXY will be reporting. Um, reporting. We've got uh, Prudential um, will be reporting. So we've got a little bit of insurance in there. And we're even going to get some Starbucks um, in there on that reporting today. So keep a close eye on it. It could be a pretty darn busy day of these reports and whether or not they can fuel enough bullish energy to push us through those resistance areas, we'll wanna watch. Oh, by the way, PayPal is another one of those. We've been rounding this chart back up trying to show some bullishness. So it'll be interesting to see if we can support these new prices by the earnings reports today. So watch closely. Let's Let's take a look at our um, um, charts that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find the videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also please click those thumbs up buttons, leave that brief comment. That helps the channel to grow, and I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Now, remember, guys, in these stocks that I'm going to um, cover here this morning, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would suggest you're going to have to do your own due diligence, be very, very careful in these charts, and be watching them pretty closely because anything is possible with all of this data and all these things coming out in our way. A couple places I want to um, 
point out, take a look at BMY. Now, BMY is a potential short, in my opinion. And the reason I'm bringing that up this morning is because we have a little bit of bearishness showing up in the market. So notice how we have failed underneath our 50-day moving average. We consolidated under there, failed, and then we have rallied back up here. Now, we rallied back up here with an interesting pattern, kind of a belt hold candle as a result. But notice that our 50-day moving average is declining turning over and this constitutes a potential lower high so watch carefully for that possibility that BMY could move on lower here in the chart and maybe break this support head down toward that 200 day um, you might also want to keep an eye on Merck now Merck um, also failed at its 50 day moving average. I wouldn't want to chase this as a short here. Maybe give it a little bit of time um, to rest or rally back a little bit, but then a failure of this level could easily take Merck down toward that 200 day. And, you know, we saw um, other um, stocks in this, this area struggling here just a little bit here recently. Um, we've got J&J &J now following this downtrend rally back toward that 50-day moving average resistance. Now we are holding along the 200-day, but let's watch for that possibility that that could roll over here in um, Johnson & Johnson. So keep an eye on some of those. Um, big drug makers um, seem to be running into that bearishness here in um in the market so if um if they continue to show these lower highs and and um then watch for those pressure that pressure to continue now on the other hand big tech big tech is where it's at um we have seen a lot of these big tech stocks rally substantially but i would keep a close eye on a few of them if you notice here google has rallied substantially off the lows but we really haven't shown the confidence yet that we can break through this resistance in the chart. So we, we want to watch for that possibility that we could get some pullback in here. And I think that's going to be OK as long as we pull back and don't make new lows. If we pull back and hold a higher low, that sets up the uptrend. So keep an eye on charts like Google um, in the lots of so many stocks reporting earnings there's going to be lots of moving around now a place that I have picked up a trade and I continue to hold and I'm um, adding to have been adding to this trade over a period of time is in TLT one of the things we're starting to see is we're starting to see those bonds pull back um, high prices help to fix high prices and so what we've seen is those rising rates are creating a negative effect for banks and so those rates are coming back down just a little bit but here's the interesting thing what seems to be happening here is that the big banks because they are not loaning money they need to secure all of their um, all of their accounts or all of their um, depositors accounts um, with some type of security they usually do that with a mortgage-backed security of some sort sort and they're struggling to find enough of those folks um, willing to borrow at these high prices so what i believe is going on here is i believe we're starting to see the big banks institutions are starting to buy up bonds and they're buying up bonds in pretty heavy numbers here because what they have to do is use that security to back those um, depositors so watch that closely I don't expect this to be in just a straight-up move in fact I would say probably gonna be a pretty choppy move to the upside but this is one of those patterns that's looking pretty good so keep an eye if you're looking for a long uh, maybe TLT might help and please keep in mind when I bring up something that I am in I clearly have a bias on it so you have to take that with a grain of salt make sure you are paying close attention to your risk tolerances in the trade. Never blindly follow someone else's trade idea. Other places that have been really interesting here, we've seen a lot of push in retail. Um, kind of a surprising push in retail, if you ask me, when we consider the, um, the 
the warnings that we've seen from a lot of these companies, the rising of inventories that we've seen from these companies. But take a look at stocks like Target. Now Target's pressing into these resistance levels in the chart. Now we're starting to get a pullback. So if we get that resting pullback in here, look for that next opportunity to follow this trend to the upside. Look for those charts. And another one that's just a little bit on the fascinating side, Walmart warned that they were gonna miss on earnings and we haven't even got to earnings. They warned that we were going to miss on earnings. They were going to miss on earnings. And we have rallied all the way back up. Kind of an interesting situation here with that bullishness. Just kind of maybe overriding common sense. But it, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe Walmart does produce well. We're seeing a lot of these retailers. Um, show lots of strength and Dollar General, Dollar Tree um, showing lots of bullishness here in uh, the market. So keep an eye on those charts. So with that, guys, I'm running really long on this video. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here today. Hey, I want to remind everyone that um, um, I can't remember if it's a public. I think it's a members only um, e-learning tonight, but I will be doing an e-learning tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. So uh, as a member, um, take a look. Um, come on over if you can. Thanks everyone for being here. Have a great day. I wish you all of the best and I wish you great success in your trading.